Thomas Mollage, and I'm the Archivist at Converse. And we are in the Archive, which is located about a mile and a half north of our headquarters in Lovejoy Wharf in Boston. What excites me about Converse is that I get to learn about a 110-year-old brand every day. Converse got its start in 1908. We were founded by Marquis Converse. He had worked in and around the rubber industry, so he wanted to kind of establish this independent rubber company. They introduced what they called tennis shoes, and gradually over time those morphed into basketball shoes. We kind of came on the scene at that critical moment where basketball was spreading across the entire country. But by the 1920s, Chuck Taylor was hired as a salesman, a player coach, traveled the country, putting on clinics and exhibitions. There was no one really in town that had grown up playing basketball. In comes Chuck Taylor and the Converse All-Stars team. They put on a clinic, all the area kind of coaches come, learn the rules of the game. And then after all these clinics, they would go down to the sporting goods store and Chuck would help them order All-Star shoes. When you see those moments like connect with a designer where they fully understand like, oh, this is here for a reason. It's not just kind of an arbitrary decision that this is here. Chuck 70 came out in 2013. It's a recrafted version of our Chuck as it was in 1970-71. It also still featured the performance details that made it the best basketball shoe for the preceding 40s, 50s, 60s, really through the 30s. It still retained a lot of those performance features. All those kind of details that made it the best basketball shoe in the world were still there. It was a natural point to jump back to, so let's take that and bring it forward. Patterns were first introduced in 1983. Camouflage was the first printer pattern that we had introduced to it. It's actually based on an army jacket. But then probably the next like big print and pattern for us was the animal prints that came out in 1988, the zebra, giraffe, and leopard prints. Those animal prints along with our camouflage are kind of thought of as our most iconic prints from the archive. <laughs> Thank you.